Okay, guys, so uh, I've managed to change the chain case oil in a 2013 Expedition Sport 600 Ace and a 2018 uh, Expedition Sport 600 Ace. Both very similar. I couldn't find anything on YouTube that would help me, so I created these videos or this video here. And so it, it was easy. It's just the springs on the muffler, getting the muffler out of there and back in and getting the springs back on are, are a bit of a challenge. But other than that, it's super simple. Use the right oil and you're, you're back on the, on the trails. Okay, everybody. Um, I couldn't find any resources online for a 2013 Expedition Sport 600 Ace chain case oil change. So here we go. I kind of cobbled together a few <laughs> few videos and I'm hoping that what I do is going to uh, to make a difference. So we've got a chain case there, muffler, battery, and a little rubber piece there. So what I've done is I've removed the springs. One, two, three, four. And there's a fifth one down there and another one down here. So they're off. I took them off and they were a bit of a pain. I didn't have the proper tool, but that did it. Okay, so now I've removed one, two, three, four, five, six springs on this muffler. We'll see if it comes out. I've never taken the muffler out of a snowmobile before, so. There's also a little hook at the back. Oh, look at that. Doesn't it come out? It does come out. Yahoo. And there's that hook at the back. So it, it you can't just pull it out. You need to, you need to lift and pull. You think the mice have had a good time in here? I mean, that's that's years of mouse nests in there. So I'll clean that out while I'm there. So I've cleaned up all of the debris left by the mice, taken the acorns and the leaves out of there. And in previous videos, I had seen where they had to take out the battery to get this chain case uh, loosened up enough to pop away and drain the oil but it looks like I have access to all of the uh, the bolts here so I'm gonna give it a shot so I've got a 10 mil socket and I'm just gonna loosen all these guys up <laughs> see what develops. Oh, that's not going to go. Uh, this is going to go. Okay, so this will go. strip that guy. Let's try this side here. Here. And here. Okay. That's very loose. soon. Okay, let's see here. Move that, move that, move that. That definitely. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, now I'm just gonna need to get a little wrench, 10 mil. So I've uh, managed to loosen all of these. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six bolts. Uh, the oil didn't just start coming out automatically. I just had to pry it a little bit just to crack it open with a flathead screwdriver and then, uh, then the oil started pouring out. So I'm just gonna keep, uh, just give it another little, little pry down here. Just make sure everything is, is uh, coming out. And we'll just, uh, well, it looks like, looks like it's almost all out. Well, I'm sure this isn't the proper technique, but we're getting her done. So it looks like we got the oil out. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just tighten everything up again here. And uh, we'll fill her with oil. There's a little plug right here. I'm going to take that, that plug out and that's actually going to be the level. So when I fill it up through, through this little portal, when it starts coming out here, that's the way it goes. And uh, it's for the A6, the, for the 600 Ace, it's uh, um, a container and a half uh, is necessary. So we'll see if, uh, if that's the correct amount. <clears throat> okay, so I've got the six bolts tightened up around the chain case. Now I'm just going to take this plug out, if I can. It's tight. It is tight. Nope. Nope. That's not working. Yeah, well, I couldn't get that. Uh, plug out. So I'm going to give this a little spray with uh, fluid film. Good stuff. See what happens. I'm going to let that sit for a bit and then come back to it later after dinner. Okay, well, I figure I've got, uh, you know, enough room for one of these little cans of or bottles of uh, oil, chain case oil. Apparently, this is where you, you just pull this little plug off and see, there we go, it's going to come off, poof, then we'll fill it in there. Still couldn't get that level plug out, so we'll see what, uh, we'll see what develops here, but... So I'm going to put this in and then I'm going to go in and check the manual to see how much it actually takes. This little container is 355 milliliters. And I know it's going to take at least one. And I've been told that it takes a, at the 600 Ace takes um, one and a half of these containers. Okay. Hey, that was easy. A <laughs> little bit of that fluid film. It just kind of popped right out. Well, now we can actually fill it up without me going to the manual. So we're just going to add some more oil here and um, 
when it starts coming out that hole, we're good. Okay, so I'm putting some more some more oil in here. And uh, at some point, it should start coming out. Almost there. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's it. We can put the plug back in and uh, she's filled up. And it, they were right. It was one and a half containers. Okay. Well, now for the final step. <laughs> Getting the muffler back in. It should be interesting. Oh, nope. I gotta get this thing out. Apparently this is a bit of a challenge. So we'll just put a little bit of oil around here. Oh yeah, she's gonna be a hard one. Boy. Yeah, putting this back in is going to be a bit of a challenge, so we'll have to uh, work at that. It's in. That's in there. Alright, so that's looking good actually. Now to get those darn springs on. And I don't really have the right tool, so I'll struggle a bit. So I'm just gonna leave the spring thing out of this video. But you have to put all of this, you have to put the six springs back on. <laughs> okay, so uh, snowmobile number two, which is a 2018 Expedition Sport 600 Ace, is going to get the uh, chain case oil change. So hopefully it's similar to the 2013 that I just did. So we'll just give it a shot, right? Um, I'm going to start with taking off the muffler and going from there. The first thing to do is to take off the muffler. So I've got four, four springs on the exhaust. And I've got another spring. Oh, there it is there. And another spring down here. So I'll take those off. It's a bit hard to, to do, but I'll, I'll pull those off. I'm using I'm using three uh, three tools. I'll be using a 
pair of needle nose pliers. And I've got these two sturdy wires that I've got hooks in them, so I can I can use that. Uh, we'll see. Some some work better than others, but some work better than others. But uh, we'll just start giving that a shot. There's one. Don't try another one. That one I'll need a pair of pliers for. This one might be good. Very difficult to get in there. anytime soon. Two. Oh, that's at the bottom. <laughs> Well, with a little bit of effort, uh, I managed to get all six springs off. So now it's a matter of just, my muffler's a little warm right now, so I don't want to burn myself. But this, uh, this should pop up. This is another spring that I don't see. Springs up. This machine is certainly a lot cleaner than the other one <laughs> under the engine. So now that the uh, muffler is off, you can see I've got to loosen that bolt. Got to loosen that bolt. There's nothing up here. And then there's one just. Uh, somewhere hidden behind, oh, it's right, right in there somewhere, and then two more, three more here. So there is one, where is it, behind, there it is, it's kind of hidden back there somewhere. Where is it? Well, it's back there. I gotta reach it. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a number 10 uh, wrench or a socket. 10 millimeter and I'm going to take, I'm going to loosen this, this guy, this guy. There's one just back here that I'll need to use a wrench. Oh, there you see it now. You use that for, uh, with a wrench. And then these, this guy and this guy, we're just loosening them up and then just pry this 
out a little bit and the oil will fall down into my pan. So I did it on my 2013 and it worked. So we'll see if it works on this one. Actually, I'll leave my light on. Okay, start the process. Loosen that right up. I'm not going to take them out, but I'll, I'll loosen them so that it'll separate. So once you know what, what you're doing, it doesn't take too long to actually change the chain case oil. It took me a lot longer on my 2013 when I was learning trial and error. Let's see what happens up here. Oh, come on, man. That's going to be no fun to get this one. Let me do the other ones first and then I'll pause the video. I can even see oil starting to come out now. I might not even have to take that top one out. Let's see if we can just pry this out a bit. Oh yeah, it's coming out. I just want to make sure it's not going onto the floor here. Perfect. So I don't even have to fight with the... Uh, the bolt that's just uh, hidden, we'll say behind the battery. It's leaking out. Now there is about um, uh, approximately 500 milliliters that has to go in to this uh, chain case. So um, well, I've got the oil. So. Okay, so I all the oil came out. It's in my pan here. I'll just let that drip a little bit more into the pan. But to fill it up, what we do is we have to get this out of here. It's a real, it's a bit tough to to mess with, but it comes out. Uh, let's see here. So this cap here will push to the side and then, and then what we do, let's just see if, oh, that's going to come up. No problem. The 2013 had a hard time, but this, it, we just removed this plug because this will start leaking when we get to the level. So we'll start pouring the oil in and, and once we get to that level, the oil 
starts coming out and that's when we know when to stop. Okay. So now I've got my oil level plug out and I'm going to pour some of this oil in here. This is uh, right from uh, BRP. So it's the, the proper oil, chain case oil. this other one open yeah it takes one and a half of these little 350 milliliter containers oh don't go in there and that's the stuff here and all i have to do is wait well i should be able to put this whole container in but Whichever comes first, empty container or oil coming out the plug hole. <laughs> and I don't hear any oil leaking out the bottom. Oh, there it is. Okay, well, I gotta say that's that's pretty empty, and I don't know if you can see the oil just dripping out there. So, shows me I I've got the right and level. This is a bit of a pain to get this this rubber back on here, but I'll give it a shot again here. It's uh, actually I'll come from the bottom. Oh, it's so close. It's not in yet, but it's it's a tough one for sure. It's tough. I'll pause the video and struggle with it a bit. I did finally get it, but it needed a little bit of leverage. So I just kept on with my thumbs and it worked its, it's, worked its way in. Okay, so what I'll do is save you the agony of watching me put the springs back on when I put this muffler back in. Uh, I mean, it's just, the springs are tight. And uh, it takes a bit of effort. Uh, it's it's nothing magical. You just need the right tools. Um, you know, a spring stretcher uh, could be in a screwdriver type of uh, hook or a wire, a solid wire. But keep in mind that there's a little hook on the muffler itself. And that needs to go in. Uh, it's not too bad to get in here. Yep, yeah, so, it, I mean, it was that easy. Now you can just move these pipes a little bit so that they, they line up. And then uh, we'll put the spring back on. We're done.